welcome back to another episode. Today, we're gonna to try exploring some new waters and uh, I'm up here in Sebastian, Florida, which I have fished before, but only really in the inlet area. So uh, we're here at this kayak launch and uh, out there there's a bunch of little mangrove islands, creeks and channels, and uh, we're just gonna wing it and see if we can get on a bite of possibly some snook, trout, and if we're really lucky, maybe some redfish. So uh, let's get the kayak fully loaded, get out there, and uh, just see what happens. I'm excited, so let's do it. All right, well, uh, we're gonna start working our way to the north, and uh, we've got a bunch of juicy looking islands that uh, hopefully you'll have some fish on them. And then to the right here, we've got uh, the mainland mangrove stretch, which eventually, about a mile to the north, uh, comes to a point. And I thought that point looks super juicy on uh, Google Maps. And I also looked at uh, Navionics, and there's a nice little channel going around it. And uh, this tide is at a lower level right now, so it's gonna start coming in. So I'm thinking if we head to that point, then as the tide comes around it and eventually you know comes you know floods around these islands that uh, any fish uh, coming in with it uh, will have to go around that so if we position ourselves there right we might be able to get on uh, a bite there I also got the cast net and the live well on board so if uh, we can't catch fish on say this dark matter fishaholic pulsar popper or any of the soft plastics that I have on board we'll uh, definitely try uh, catching uh, some bait that we can use There's a fish. Let's try throwing there with the swim bait. All right, uh, no bites on the way out to uh, this mangrove point now. And uh, what's really cool about this spot is that, you know, the channel is right out there, but uh, right off the channel, there are two islands and uh, there looks like a lot of good current running in between them. So we'll probably work our way out there. There's a fish. Nice. Found ourselves a little trout. Good way to get the skunk out of the kayak. And if there's one like that, and we did have a bite right before catching that one, so there might be a concentration of them sitting here in the channel. There's another one. Oh, it's a nice trout. Look at the size of this one. Oh, yeah, that is what I'm talking about. That right there is a gator trout. He smoked the little Z-Man minnows swim bait. Well, there he goes. That was a wild one. This 
So uh, right here along this island, it's only like one to two feet of water. So we found that trout super shallow, which is pretty cool. And uh, based on the watermark along the mangrove limbs, uh, this water's probably only gonna get like another five to six inches deeper. And uh, the water clarity we have now is probably only like three to five inches. And that's why uh, I decided to throw on this color this morning. It's like a chartreuse belly with gold and black flake on top. And uh, I've never fished with this color. I actually found this one and only swim bait uh, in a bush about a year ago. And I haven't fished with it until today, really. Uh, you know, I just had it sitting in this bag here with uh, the root beer chartreuse tails, which uh, if we lose this bait, we might have to try these because these will probably work in this dirty water. But uh, this is made out of like a Laztec, so who knows, maybe this bait will last all day and uh, we could catch fish on it all day. So let's keep it going. See if we... All right, so I'm cutting across this little channel from the little island where we got that last trout to this bigger island here because I think this little point looks super juicy and uh, we'll keep doing what we're doing but uh, I'll probably give it like 30 minutes if we don't have another bite here uh, I might just switch up the presentation or uh, you know move further to the north where uh, there's a couple more islands that are kind of clustered together very similar to these two Another fish. Oh, it's a nice flounder. No way. Oh yeah. I think we just caught ourselves some dinner. All right, let's take a look at this guy right here. Heck yeah, that is a nice southern flounder. Oh gosh. He's wild, really wild, it's just like the trout, because we're catching them in such shallow water. And this fish easily makes the 14 inch minimum without having to measure them. So I'm gonna bleed them and throw them in the cooler and keep them for dinner. Gonna let them bleed out in the net so he doesn't escape. Sweet, I haven't had flounder in a while, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he almost jumped out of the cooler. Flounder definitely can be escape artists at times, even when they're half alive. All right, well, uh, let's keep it going. See if we can find ourselves a red and a snook now and maybe complete a slam. I'm gonna try standing up some more in this section because uh, the water, oh, look at that nice snook right there. You see him? Dang, the water is a little bit clearer. Oh my gosh, another big snook right there. He was sitting right in between these weeds. Dang. I tried to reel in quick enough and not make any sudden movements to cast at him, but he uh, saw the kayak too soon. I think it's, I see a small red right here. Yeah, small red right there. Oh, dang. He didn't have any interest in the Z-Man though. He 
he was up on this flat uh, right by this mini island. Dang. Oh, I'm seeing a bunch of Maharas in here. Or maybe that's a little finger mullet? I don't know. I'm seeing some really juicy little baits right there. I'm gonna try hopping out of the kayak and uh, see if we can catch them. I think at least if we have uh, some fresh little baits in the bucket, then if we come across uh, any more snook or reds, you know, we could pitch a live bait to them and uh, they'll probably eat that. Oh, these are beautiful little like three inch finger mullets. Oh, we just lost one. Look at these, the size of these little morsels. Oh my gosh. We are gonna catch some nicer fish today. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this mullet. <laughs> we should almost like include him as a catch for the day. He's so big. This guy we'll throw in here. All right. I got a few really little guys in that toss. I really didn't uh, pick the best spot to anchor my kayak down right by this big log, so I just tripped over it. <laughs> wow, I think this is the smallest finger mullet I've ever caught. Look at that. That's gonna get slurped up by a nice snook, red, or trout, or whatever <laughs> predator fish are here. Look at those. All right, I'm super stoked. We uh, got some juicy baits in the bucket, but uh, now I want to pull anchor and uh, I want to go take them swimming. We did uh, take one more random toss with the net out into deeper water. And other than mullet, I also uh, caught some like two to three inch little croakers, which I think will be fire for pitching a, some snooker reds. So uh, being that this water is a little bit clearer than uh, in the area where we started fishing today, I think it might be crucial to have those live baits to pitch the fish that we see, or uh, if we can't sight fish anymore, then I uh, have a little float that we'll uh, put above the bait and uh, just drift along the island out there and uh, see if we can get eight that way. So let's get back out there and uh, keep it going. Oh, we got a fish on it already. Oh gosh, did you see that? Big snook, oh my gosh. That was insane. Absolutely insane. And somehow, I put the rod tip in the water just at the, like, right, right at the right time and the, the line went zipping right under those mangrove limbs so we didn't get caught on it. Oh, the hook just popped out. Dang, dude, no. Nothing on the last two mullets that 
I threw. I saw quite a few fish, but they uh, just didn't seem interested. So I'm gonna try this little croaker. A little snook right here. He ate the croaker. Oh, there's a bite. There we go. Real little snook. There he goes. Well, I just caught that second snook and uh, released him, but I want to give you guys a big update because uh, we caught our first snook and that second one like a few hours apart. Yeah, a few hours. So uh, I've been working up and down this island in this stretch here uh, for the last few hours and uh, I've been seeing a ton of fish and uh, I, I think what's really kept me here is we lost that big fish as soon as we started fishing with the bait and then we caught our first one like right after and uh, then it's just been a grind. But uh, I have been learning a lot about this spot and it seems like a lot of the bigger snook hang off the structure about like 10, 15 yards. And uh, when I first got here, I noticed I was spooking a lot of them and I did try to drift through like this entire area uh, and like around the corner and then around the next corner and I uh, was you know putting the bait like a below a float and I thought that would work but um, not even a sniff well, well I did catch a catfish <laughs> of course um, but uh, it's been rather slow so uh, I'm thinking about just packing it up from this spot and uh, maybe gonna come back here another day to see if we can really figure out these fish and uh, we're going to start working our way back to the launch and uh, switch back to uh, the little Z-Man swim bait because we're out of bait now. And uh, we'll go hit uh, the spot where we got the flounder, where we got the trout, and then there's a couple other islands on the way back that I didn't hit uh, on our way out so we could hit that. And uh, just, uh, you know, see if we can get like one or two more bites before calling it a day. So let's do it. So right along here is where we got the flounder. And right at that island is where we got the big gator trout. There's a fish. What do we got here? Oh, okay, a little snook. That didn't take long. Sweet. There's one more little snook. Oh, that's the cast right there. Fish on. Another little guy hit like a big one. All right, 
right, well, I am calling it a day. I am starving. I fished my heart out out here today and uh, we got on a bite. Uh, you know, was it easy? In the beginning, it kind, of, it kind of seemed like it. I mean, we got a gator trout and a nice flounder fairly quickly and also, uh, you know, caught some bait and we got that monster snook to eat a mullet uh, right along the mangroves like immediately. You know, the bait was in the water for maybe like 10 seconds. Uh, unfortunately, we lost that fish and uh, that's kind of been bumming me out all day, but uh, I did learn. Uh, a lot about uh, this area and uh, I'm already like prepping my next fishing mission in my head so we can come out here and uh, get on a good bite of some of the bigger snook that I saw and uh, we also did see one redfish which was cool so maybe next time we can dial in on that uh, a little bit more so anyway if you guys want to know what tackle and equipment I was using in today's video I'll put the links in the description like always and uh, if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash the like button hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more and until the next video live to fish fish to live